Hi guys, it's Lady Catherine here. Um, this will actually be the last 2018 video, believe it or not. So I thought I would make this one all about 2018, hence the title, Visions of 2019. Alright? Because I want to talk about some of the things that I plan to get accomplished in 2019, plus show you a new system I'm really excited to actually finally after two years of researching it finally getting to do it so let's start into that first and then we'll get into the goals I don't do new year's resolutions they're a little wishy-washy with me but yeah when I set it as a goal to get accomplished I'll accomplish it so, believe it or not, I am joining the bullet journaling age in 2019. It took me two years to kind of really wrap my head around the whole concept. So, this one is a $10, bind, uh, $10 journal I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Um, it says, Hello Lovely on it. It is, I'll show you guys here if I can. It is the dotted grid paper, which I thought would be great for drawing the different templates and stuff. So in the front here, on this front cover, I'll read it to you, I'm not going to show it to you, but it says, this book belongs to Catherine, um, and then my last name, if found, please call, and then my phone number. And then I put on here, this big bold writing right here, I put on here something that really helps me, uh, connect spiritually, um, like it, I say it all the time to help raise energy before I actually cast uh, cast spells, things like that, just to kind of get me in that in that mindset to doing magic. It's, it says, earth my body, water my blood, air my breath, and fire my spirit. Then on what was supposed to be the first blank page, and I'll actually show you guys this one, is the key. Here I have a prioritizing system based off of levels. There's like a red, it's a high priority. Orange, it's a medium priority. And yellow is a low priority item. Then I color code between personal and business. So personal is written in black ink and business is written in green ink. Then over here, we have a list of all my different, all my different symbols that I use, different bullet points, things like that. And then for my daily rune, which I'm going to start actually religiously doing in 2019, this is the key. I'm going to, uh, the key as to, let's say, this rune's drawn in on my daily reading. Then I know it's Minaz because I can come and look up that particular symbol. So we're going to skip these two pages. I left them intentionally blank. And we go into my 2019 daily affirmations. I have seven of them that I will be using. Um, some of the most, some of them that I found online. Some of them I wrote myself. Here's one I found online. I am limited by nothing and have unlimited potential. So I'm going to be working with these particular affirmations. This is what we'll be getting into later. But this is my goals for 2019. I put them in there. This is my weight tracker, very simple. At the end of each month, I'll be doing the end instead of the first, like I did this year. I'll just put in what my weigh-in was within all this, as well as within my fitness app as well. Here is my month view. And on the back side, I had to write in all the important, like all the important dates per month, because... I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but I kind of I kind of had hardly any space down here when I put in the calendars. And then that's where you get into my, I want to say it's a week view, but it really is a day by day with the week where I have all seven days for the first week of January. And I'm working to fill, the, fill in all the sections. This one's going to probably, um, it's going to evolve and move around as I find different templates to work with throughout the year. Uh, so then that way I can figure out what works for me the best. So I went for practical instead of pretty. Uh, so nothing right now has any doodles in it, but there may be doodles added over time. And now you're probably wondering, well, what are you going to do with like video lists or whatever? If I have an idea, it will be noted in here 
but it will actually be transferred into my portfolio into a running list of YouTube topics. Um, my goal for this is to try to stay away from using as many applications as possible to keep myself organized. Um, and then these are the markers uh, that I purchased. They were $9.99, so literally 20 bucks. I got everything I needed to start my bullet journal. So I'm really excited, super excited for that. Now, what are my goals for this year? I actually probably should have just kept my bullet journal here. My goals are, there are nine of them. Um, and again, I want to start gender therapy next year. I, because I also want to start on hormones at some point next year as well. Then, you know, I have the basic things like I want to eat healthier, I want to exercise more, and I want to get rid of soda completely out of my diet. Alright, I still have to have my caffeine, so we do have coffee and we do have tea for that. Um, something else I'd like to accomplish as of next year is getting my name legally changed to Catherine. All right. Some other things in here. Uh, I'd like to have our own place by the end of the year. I'd like to at least have read three books by the end of the year. Um, sometimes that's, I set it so low for reading books for me. It's not because I'm slow at reading them. It's everything else that's going on that takes time away from having the extra time to read. So I, that's why I set the, my book goal every year so low. I want to read at least three books. So if I hit three books and I've hit this goal, but I'd prefer to read more if I could. And then the last one, because I'm still learning how to do different things for makeup, um, I'm like so far behind the curve and stuff, I want to learn five new makeup techniques and actually be able to apply them without watching a video. So those are my goals. Like I said, they're just very basic, very run-of-the-mill type of goals for um, next year, things that are things that could be achievable, things that may not be achievable, um, or that I will somehow achieve, different things like that. It just really all depends on several factors. So that is uh, so far that is like my visions of 2019. I'm also hoping that in 2019 I will learn some some lessons and have some spiritual growth that isn't, what's the term, uh, the phrase, the thing I posted on my Instagram is spiritual growth uh, or the driving force behind spiritual growth is not in the books, sermons, um, and something else, but in the difficult circumstances that, that are dealt to us. So I'm hoping that some of our difficult circumstances next year are not as difficult as some of the ones we've encountered this year and last year combined. It has been a rough couple of years for us, for me, for my life, for my kid, you know, with all the changes and things. So I'm really hoping that some of the challenges we face next year are not as bad. So then that way we would have, we have a little bit easier of a year. Um, I know everybody goes through challenges and things like that. So, so yeah. So I'm hoping next year will be easier. I'm hoping that I can get organized. So those that's my dream, my, not my dream, but my vision of 2019. I will check back with you guys for a video of the reality of 2019 at the end of the year, um, along with my visions of 2020. Oh my gosh, we're almost 2021. <sighs> wow. Alright guys, so with that being said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and until next time, namaste.